Hi, my name is Aaron Rosenberg and I'm a volunteer teacher at the SeniorNet organization. Uh, what I'm going to speak to you about today is a little feature that you can learn at one of our classes about from Photoshop Elements. Uh, what we're going to demonstrate today is how you can take a group photo and modify it. Uh, what we'll actually do is take three pictures and combine them into one group photo. Whenever you're taking a group photo, one thing to bear in mind is it always pays to take multiple shots from the same location in the same area. Uh, in this way, if somebody has their eyes closed, you can always take their head from one photo and pop it into the other. Uh, what I'm going to demonstrate is a group photo process where I have three separate photos which I've loaded on my screen. You'll notice down in the project bin I have group shot number one, group shot number two, and group shot number three. Now these photos were taken at the same time from the same location. The program has built into it, if we go to file, and then drop down to new, it has a feature called photo merge group shot. This is what we're going to use this morning. So I'll click on that and basically it'll come up and ask me do I want to bring in any other photos or do I want to use those photos that I have already opened. In this case I have already opened the three photos I want to use. So I'll just say open all and it loads the feature called photo merge. The first thing you need to do is pull up one photo that you want to use as the master and drag it into the right hand window. So I'm going to use group shot number three as the master. I'll click on it and drag it up to the final pane. Now all I need to do is go one by one through the other photos and select what I want to include in the final. So I'll double click on group shot number one select what we call the pencil tool on the right hand side then what I'll do is go over and using the pencil tool I will draw a line through that particular area I want to move so I'm going to select the object here just by drawing a line through it and when I release it lo and behold she now appears in the final photo now I'll go to photo number two. I'll double click on that and again using the pencil tool I'll select what I want to move and lo and behold I now have a photo with triplets. The next step is just say done and there's the finished photo. So again, the important thing is to take a series of photos when you're taking a pictures of a group from the same location at the same time with the same background and then this will allow you to make modifications by adding or subtracting uh, things that you don't want. 